Laura, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. Wear it as a sign of my love and commitment to you. From this day forward, you need not walk alone. Dear Michael, I'm sitting here in my V-Row, knowing that the next time I see you, I'll be walking down the aisle towards you. And the next time I will kiss you, you'll be my husband. And I have a huge smile on my face. I can't help but think about all the mistakes I've made, the tears I've cried, and the wrong guy types I've spent too much time and energy on. And I know that I wouldn't change a single second of it because it led me to you. You, the man I've searching for my whole life. You, the person I've wondered about, daydreamed about, prayed for, and you're so much more than I could have asked for in a husband. You are my friend, my partner, the father of my children, my everything. I know the future is unclear, but I also know, without a shadow of a doubt, that my life will be fulfilled and happy with you as my husband. Thank you for loving me, and thank you for marrying me. I love you now and always. Your wife, Laura. Michael, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> love you. It's always been about me, myself, and I Our thought relationships were nothing but a waste of time I never wanted to be anybody's other half I was happy saying I love you If anywhere there might be a job description for husbands and wives I think it comes out of a New Testament book of Ephesians And it talks about how together God would have you to respect Him And as a part of that, God would have you, Michael, to love Laura as yourself to love even as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. That's sacrificial love. He would call you then, Laura, to respect Michael. Not because he deserves it, but out of honor for God. Not that he wouldn't always deserve it. <laughs> Just in case there's a slim chance. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> what we're talking about is unconditional love. Unconditional respect. Motivated out of a desire to honor God who has given you life and now who has given you a life partner. I, Michael, take you, Laura, to be my wife. I promise to faithfully love you through good times and in bad, to encourage you and respect you, laugh with you, <laughs> and to have the patience that love requires. I promise to give you the best that I can as your friend, companion, and partner. I'm honored that you would have me as your husband. I'm proud to have you as my wife. I, Laura, take you, Michael, to be my husband. I promise to faithfully love you through good times and in bad, to encourage you, respect you, and to laugh with you, and to have the patience that love requires. I promise to give you the best that I can as your friend, companion, and partner. I am honored that you would have me as your wife. I am proud to have you as my husband. Thank you for being you, because you are perfect for my best friend. There's no one better I could have chosen. And Laura, thank you for being my constant, my support, my partner in crime, my best friend, and my soulmate. And no matter what, we always have a man laugh. <laughs> so let's cheers to the bride and group. I will live without it. I will let us go. Just look at what we got ourselves into. I wanna say I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do love you.